collections and stories for children. Book one, story number 12, about prayerfulness. Prayerfulness is talking with God. You can pray silently, out loud, by yourself, with other people, sing a prayer, um, any language. It's making connection to God and being open to what comes back in our reflection, seeing if there's any guidance that's given to us in our hearts. First reading says, Intone, O my servant, the verses of God that have been received by thee, as intoned by them who have drawn nigh unto him, that the sweetness of thy melody may kindle thine own soul and attract the hearts of all men. Whoso reciteth in the privacy of his chamber the verses revealed by God, the scattering of angels of the Almighty shall scatter abroad the fragrance of the words uttered by his mouth, and shall cause the heart of every righteous man to throb. This is a story about Abdu'l-Bahá entitled Learning to Pray. When Abdu'l-Bahá was in New York, he asked a devoted Baha'i, Mr. M, to come and see him. If you will come to me at dawn tomorrow, I will teach you to pray. Mr. M was delighted and woke up at four o'clock in the morning. He traveled across the city and arrived for his lesson at six o'clock. Abdu'l-Bahá was already praying, kneeling by the, bed, by the side of the bed. Mr. M copied Abdu'l-Bahá, making sure to sit directly across from him. Seeing that Abdu'l-Bahá was deep in prayer, Mr. M began to pray silently for his friends and family. Abdu'l-Bahá did not say a word to him, so Mr. M went over all the prayers he knew. He repeated the prayers twice and then three times. Still, not a word was spoken by Abdu'l-Bahá. Mr. M rubbed one of his knees and thought about his back. He began to pray again, this time hearing the birds singing outside the window. An hour passed. Two hours passed. Mr. M's body felt quite numb. His eyes, wandering along the wall, caught sight of a large crack. He looked at the crack with a touch of annoyance, but then let his gaze pass again to Abdu'l-Bahá's still figure across the bed. The ecstasy he saw as he watched Abdu'l-Bahá pray stopped him from thinking about his surroundings. Suddenly, he wanted to pray like Abdu'l-Bahá. Mr. M's selfish desires were forgotten. He was conscious only of one thing, a passionate desire to draw near to God. Closing his eyes again, he stopped thinking about the world, and amazingly, his heart was filled with joyous prayer. Abdu'l-Bahá had taught him to pray. Abdu'l-Bahá immediately got up and came to him. His eyes rested, smiling upon the newly humbled Mr. M. When you pray, he said, you must not think of your aching body, nor of the birds outside the window, nor of the cracks in the wall. He became very serious and added, when you wish to pray, you must first know that you are standing in the presence of the Almighty. The second reading says, the state of prayer is the best of conditions, for man is then associating with God. Prayer verily bestoweth life, particularly when offered in private, and at times such as midnight, when freed from daily cares. Story number 12 about prayerfulness. 